Hi everyone, this is Key Park, your condo analyst. Today I'd like to talk about two different types of condo launches. And those two different types are one, the platinum first round launch, and second, which is the inventory launch. And let me tell you a little bit about the differences of these two launches. First of all, platinum launches are the ones where the developer releases units to the market for the very first time. This means that on launch date, you have to get everything prepared in order to get a unit allocated to you. That means you need to contact me or other platinum agents. Make sure they're platinum agents. There's only 30 to 40 platinum agents in the entire GTA. And you have to get in touch with the right one to get the best units possible. Once you get in touch with me, um, I would need your name, phone number, address, and all the basic information along with your uh, copy of your driver's license. And what we do is we accumulate all this information when we create what is called a worksheet. A worksheet is a unit reservation form. This is the form that you express which units you would like in the building and uh, on which floors whether you want parking, whether you want your locker, and all this information, we put it together, and then I would go to the developer and try to get the unit that you want as much as possible, or at least the closest to it. On the day of the launch, the developer will assign, allocate the units to the platinum agents. And the platinum agents would typically go through the list of the worksheets and make sure the unit that we were assigned was something that the clients actually wanted. And then we will call our clients to make sure they are ready to move forward and sign the contract. So this is a platinum launch. The platinum launch is good because it is the cheapest price in the entire building as this is the first time they're releasing the units. After the platinum launch, the prices typically increase by a few thousand to uh, tens of thousands, depending on how popular the units are. Depending on the developer, either the developer will try to sell the entire building. Let's just say there are 500 units in the building. Depending on the developer, they might want to sell the entire 500 units at this one go, or what they try to do, and I've noticed this in the recent days, where the developer tries to sell only, let's just say, 200 to 300 units in total on the first launch, and then subsequent days, which could be a few months later, or it could be an immediate month after, they would increase the price and release uh, additional units. And the additional release could be 30 units, 50 units, it could be 100 units. It really depends on what the developer wants to do. And it is in the developer's discretion to sell how many units at what time. What this allows the developers to do is that they get to make profits just like us investors as the real estate market continues to go up. Uh, if a developer holds on to a few hundred units and then sells a year later or two years later, then they would see the appreciation in price for the year or two, and then they would also benefit from selling at a higher price. So that's why the developers would want to uh, use this strategy more often than not these days. And these additional releases are what's called the inventory uh, release, right? So like I said, there's a platinum release and then there are the inventory release. The inventory releases are the ones that the developer has held onto for how many long periods of time and then they eventually start to sell in small quantities in the future. Although this is an increased price compared to the platinum launch because time has already passed and the market has generally gone up in price, this doesn't necessarily mean that these units are not desirable or priced higher than the market. Let's just assume that there is a building that launched uh, today. Uh, let's just say this is a building A. And building A sold quite well. And they sold, say, about $2,000 per square foot. And then a year later, let's just say next year, uh, building A is selling for $2,200 per square foot. So there has been a 10% increase since uh, the platinum launch from one year. And let's just say in the same neighborhood, there's a building B that's just launching and they're selling for about $2,300 per square foot. Then if you compare the inventory units of building A versus the platinum units in building B, it is prudent and cheaper to buy the inventory units at building A. And typically inventory units are cheaper than platinum launches of a brand new building because let me, uh, 
give you the developer's perspective. Let's just say you own a house. Your neighbor just sold the same house that you have for $2 million and you're looking to list your unit next month. Would you want to sell it for cheaper than $2 million or would you want to sell it for more than $2 million? Of course, you would like to get more than $2 million because you already know that the market, someone was willing to buy your neighbor's house for $2 million. That same logic goes to developers. When developers are launching a brand new condo, they look at what has launched in the neighborhood in the past and see what their pricing was. And as a seller, they do not wish to sell their condo cheaper than what was launched in the past. So with this logic in mind, Platinum launches offer the lowest price in the same building. However, if there's another building in the neighborhood that has already launched and then they have some inventory units, chances are the inventory units are probably cheaper than the, the brand new building. So keep this in mind as you search for your uh, pre-construction condo investments because I tend to find a lot of good deals in the inventory units. I typically like to call this the inventory treasure hunt. It's kind of like going to winners and finding that perfect pair of jeans for half the price you would typically pay. And also another timbit, uh, platinum launches typically requires 20% deposit. And that's because the builder has not secured the construction financing yet. And they need that 20% deposit in order for them to go to their own bank and finance their construction. However, once the developer has secured the financing after the first launch, after the platinum launch, and now let's say it's the inventory launch, inventory launch don't necessarily need construction financing. Oftentimes, the developer has already secured construction financing, so they are now capable of lowering the deposit amount down to 15, 10, or even 5%. I've seen 5% uh, inventory launches in the past, which has brought me great, great amounts of uh, profit. As, as you know, the profitability is calculated by the amount of profit divided by the amount uh, invested. And then the smaller the amount invested, the higher the profitability of your investment, which is great. It's like free leverage. And also, uh, this is one of the services that I give to my clients who, who've purchased pre-construction through me. I take your condo contract to a professional condo lawyer to have it reviewed. Oftentimes, during the platinum launch, the developer is not willing to accept the lawyer requests, which are these added benefits that you can uh, get from developers. However, for inventory units, the developer is more lenient in accepting uh, these lawyer requests. So sometimes you get uh, additional caps on your development charges. Sometimes you get $10,000 off uh, the unit that you're purchasing. Sometimes you get some of the other costs, the closing costs deleted completely from the, the agreement. Sometimes you can get free locker. It really depends on the developer and the situation at the time. Especially when the market is not so great, you tend to get better deals. When the market is very hot, the developer doesn't really have to try hard to uh, move units. So keep this in mind as you search for your pre-construction investment. And uh, oftentimes, like I said, inventory units are typically not the units that didn't sell, but it's more the units that the developer kept for themselves and they're releasing at a later time. Well, I hope this video really helped you. My name is Key Park. Uh, I am the founder of Condo Analyst, and I was a former director of analytics at a consulting firm. And I use a data-driven approach. I look at my numbers and make sure that the numbers make sense with the decision that I make. If you need my help, here's my phone number, 416-493-3955, or uh, email me at condoanalyst.ca, and I will try to get the units that you want. I'm a platinum agent in the GTA area, and I can get you the units that you want, and I try and fight for you to get additional benefits so you can profit from these additional benefits. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks so much for uh, tuning in, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.